So, as Consciously Kerry, you might already know, but I am trying to think about life more consciously, and that means loads of things for me. That means moving my body more consciously through yoga. That means eating more consciously through a plant-based diet, and for sure it means drinking more consciously, which can mean kombucha, or it can also mean little gems like this. So, this is Outfox, this is a non-alcoholic wine. I have not tried this yet, so I'm giving it a whirl for the first time here. I am so excited. Just check out that bottle, the brand. It's so premium, this feels so good and so premium. I am so excited to get stuck in. The main difference with this, um, to a lot of other non-alcoholic wines, is that a lot of the other wines make the wine and strip the alcohol out. That means you can't get as crisper, drier wine. But Outfox are saying they've made theirs in a different way and you're getting that lovely crispness. So I am well excited. This is their white, which says it has a nod to like a Sauvignon type of wine, so thinking crisp citrus fruit, and a lovely rosé with the Sauvignon vibes and sort of berry hints. But let's give them a whirl, see what we think. If it's something you're worried about, they have very little calories in as well. I think it's 30 calories, um, so that's cool. Let's see what it smells and tastes like. Yeah, very punchy, very, very punchy smells. Like tropical fruit, actually, I'm getting a bit of passion fruit for sure, definitely a bit of citrus, let's give it a whirl. definitely has that nice crispness to it and wow actually yeah there's so much pineapple to me it's more tropical fruit than citrus there's like this mouth watering pineapple flavor that is amazing it has that lovely acidity of wine as well that keeps you going back for more I am so so impressed with that if someone handed that to me at a party, I wouldn't think twice that it didn't have alcohol in. It's really, really lovely. And a thing about the owner of this non-alcoholic wine, I love it, she's a girl after my own heart. Um, her name's Jess. And what made what led her to create Outfox is she was training for some mega marathon, ultra marathon, I don't know what it was, was it um, Marathon de Sable across the desert, I believe? And in this intense six month training period, Alcohol was a no-no for her. But those times in the pub, in the restaurant, where there's no alternative, there's water, there's fizzy rubbish drinks. So that led her to create this, and I feel that. I feel you, Jess. That is so true. When you're training for something, but you don't want to miss out on the social events, you still want to go along, chat with your friends, have a nice meal, but you just don't want the booze. I think she's created something really, really special here. This is lovely. So I'm going to drink this up, and then I'll give the rosé one a try. So I'm tucking into the rosé. Let's see what this has to offer. What a cool logo. Have you spotted the wine glass on the fox's nose? I love this. It feels so premium, feels so cool and funky. It's got that nice, delicate hue, just that nice light pink tone, which is cool. Maybe like a Provence rosé or something if you're comparing it to wine. But yeah, definitely more berry vibes in that, or like fruits of the forest or something like that. Yeah, that's really, really lovely. Really delicate berry flavours and a nice crispness. And again, that amazing acidity makes you want to just keep drinking it and drinking it. Normally in wine terms, I definitely pick white over rosé, but actually I prefer the rosé of the two outfoxes. This is very, very nice. You can totally imagine sipping this in your garden in the summer and any other occasion to be fair. Cheers!